to leave this place, God, today. God, have to be received, God, your touch, receive your grace, and receive your word, God. Oh, Lamb of God, and, and Lord, that a change will take place in every area of our life, God. God, that we need you to move, God, today, God, and we thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for being with us today. Praise your name. Hallelujah. We magnify you. Come on, just give the Lord a hand clap of praise. If you love him this morning, thank God. Thank God for the service. Thank God for blessing us. Thank you to the house of God one more time. We're just going to, amen, receive. Praise God, Sister Faith. Amen. At this time, move on into the service. Come on, clap your hands to the Lord one more time. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Lord. Good and clap of praise this morning. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah for another chance. Hallelujah for another opportunity to enter to his house this morning. Hallelujah. I'm really glad to be in the house of the Lord today. Come reaching out that you every need could be met this morning according to his will. Come on and give the Lord a good and clap of praise. Hallelujah. I mean, no, he's worthy this morning. Amen. He's worthy of all the praises this morning. The honor and the glory belongs to him. Hallelujah, Jesus. How many know it's in him we live, move, and have our being? Glory be to God. So come on and put your hands together. Hallelujah. Let's gather in our minds this morning. Let's reach out to the Lord. Hallelujah. And let him have his way. Glory be to God. How many excited this morning? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. I know it was his blood. I know it was his blood. I know it was his blood. Save me.
praise for the blood this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. He paid the ultimate price for us all this morning. Who don't want to serve a God like that? Come on and magnify him this morning. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on and give us some praises. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory be to God. Truly, God is a good God. And he's worthy to be praised. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Have you tried, Jesus? Have you tried, Jesus? Have you tried, Jesus? Have you tried, Jesus? Have you tried it for your Savior? Have you tried it for your Savior?
be in the house of God one more time. Thank God for being good to us. Amen. And keeping us along the way. Hallelujah. Keeping us where the mind stayed on him. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody shout, Jesus. Amen. How many know he's present with me this morning? Amen. And we're just thankful. Amen. All that the Lord is doing. Amen. We give glory to the Lord today. Amen. And thank God for you. We'd like to give honor to our pastor this morning. So come on, put your hands together, everybody. Thank God for our pastor this morning. Amen. Praise God. And we just really appreciate the love of Thank God for us standing. And we do thank God, give honor to all the laborers in the house this morning. Amen. The press, the yen, the press. Thank God for musicians. Amen. This morning. Oh, come on, put them hands together. Hallelujah. We thank God for our Bible study teachers. Thank God, Sister Ryan, Sister Justin. Praise the Lord this morning. Thank God for their praise. That's Sister Faith. Hallelujah this morning. Glory to God. We give honor. Thank God to all the ministers of the gospel. Amen. Praise God. Thank God for our mothers this morning. They absent. Thank God for my mother being present in the house of the Lord. And we thank God for Amen. The sound man of the night. Thank God for the video recording sister. Elisha. Amen. Thank God for all the ushers present. Amen. In the service this morning. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We do thank God for my wife. Thank God for all of his blessings he's given me. And happy to thank God for all of his blessings on your life. And I would say the blessing of the Lord making the rich. And add no sorrow. God is good. And everything good comes from him. So we just bless, amen, to be here today. Amen. To know that the Lord is with us to meet our needs. We do thank God for our visitors on this morning. Amen. Oh, Amen. Oh, how many come to have church today? Amen. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Look at somebody say, don't wait till the crowd come. Come on, give it praise now. Praise me like the house is full. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Because the amen, the most important guest is here. That's Jesus. Amen. He said, we're two or three got together in his name. He'll be in the midst. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So amen. Praise God. We yet bless. Amen. God is amen present to meet our needs this morning. Don't make no difference whether the house is full or whether it's two or three in the midst. Amen. The Lord is present to meet our needs. So we're blessed to have such a God that amen that loved us so much. Amen. Do you love him? I say, do you love the Lord today? Yeah. Amen. Praise God. So we just thank God. Amen for what he's doing. Thank God for all the prayers and all the deliverance the Lord has wrought. Amen. Anybody happy to be in the house of God this morning? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. We're just going to go on into the service. Amen. Praise God. We just thank God for all that he's doing. Amen. It's sure a blessing to be saved. In this hour, we have a man to press on. And serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So we're just going to open up testimony at this time. Praise God and receive the Amen. Testimony of the goodness of the Lord. Lift your hands if God's been good to you. Amen. And I ought to be every hand lifted. God's been good to us all. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. God is good. Thanks, Amen. Sister Hill, and just if she feel just to start us off with a testimony this morning. We thank God so much for her. Amen. She is the living testimony. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. I do appreciate the Lord this morning. Thank God for my pastor, co pastor, and all of you. I just thank praise God this morning for life, health, and strength. I praise Him for the Holy Ghost. I praise Him for the activities of my limbs. You know, if you if you look now and see that we ain't in the last days, something definitely wrong with you. So we are in the last days. And I tell you the truth, there's a great falling away. But you know, my prayer to God this morning is that you keep me in the midst of this last day, in the midst of the storms, in the midst of the trouble. Praise God, keep me. Because you know what? The devil got a great influence on people. And I'm learning down through the years, through tribulations and trials. 
You ain't going to walk this walk with just talk. Right. You're not going to be walk this walk with just talk. It's going to take more than talk to walk this way. Yeah. It's going to take a life of prayer. It's going to take a life of dedication. Yeah. It's going to take a life of, blind, of blinding your eyes to what you see. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. You know, people, it disturbs me. People get caught up in what they see. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's going to take Jesus to save yeah. ourselves. Yeah. So this morning, I'm appreciative of the Lord and what he's doing in my life and how he's moving. And how I'm praying for more dedication. Yes. Praying that God help me to pray more. Help me to see myself. Help me to lay aside every weight and sin. Right. Right. That's so easy to beset me. Right. And I thank God this morning for co-pastor Dog mm -hmm. on that word last Sunday. Mm -hmm. My God, I went to bed with it. Praise God. Got up with it. I tell you what, that was a word. That word stirred something down on the inside. Yeah. Children of God, if we don't pray and dedicate, we ain't going to make it. Amen. We're not going to make it. And Jesus is silent the law. Yes. He's blowing the trumpet. Trying to wake up for people. Yes. Because Jesus soon will come. Yes. And you know, I don't want to preach to a man and myself to be a castaway. Yes. You know, that's my heart. Says, I done got up and testified. I done preached and gave testimony. And me, myself, and give me a testimony. Yes. It don't profit us nothing, praise God. It don't profit you nothing. Yes. Trying to impress people. Come on now. But we got to impress you. Hey. Yes. He got to be pleased with our life. Because his eyes in every place. Beholding the good and the evil. He know our ups and downs and our rising. Amen. He knows the church. And if ever was a time for us to hold on with everything we got, tie a knot in the rope and hold on. Amen. Because the enemy is fighting. He's trying to take you out, me out, all of us out. Amen. And it's a time to be steadfast, unmoved, unshakable, abounding always in the work of the Lord. Amen. Keep the word of God forever before you that you don't sin against. Because when you think not, there's a time that he's coming. Yes. Mm -hmm. He may not come on the cloud for you, but he's coming. Yes. And when he comes, will he find faith? Or will he find us with our work undone? Jesus. But every waking minute hour of the day, we need to have our mind on the Lord. Because he can come in that hour. Yes. And we're not where we're supposed to be. Amen. And I just appreciate the Lord today. Thank God for my church family, all of you, yeah. my pastor, yeah. such a great woman of God to Amen. lead us. Amen. The little people yeah. that still got a vision. Yeah. Still got a vision. Yeah. It ain't got nothing to do with age. Yeah. But the woman of God got a vision. All right. yeah. That can lead us Amen. to what we need to be. And I appreciate y'all. I appreciate her so much. You know, sometimes we don't give a chance to tell her how much we love and appreciate her. But I appreciate the woman of God Amen. for her word yes. and for her stand with yes. God. Amen. And it, praise God, trouble can come your way sometimes. You can think about the word that she preached. Amen. It'll ring in your ears. Yes. I've been there many times through dilemmas and I can hear her telling me some things. Yes. Yes. That's why we've got to keep the word of God ever before us. Amen. And we'll be able to fight. The good side of faith. And I appreciate the Lord this morning. Thank God for all of you. Continue to pray for me and my family. I'm praying that God save my children, that God save my house. Right. Because the devil is real. Amen. He's trying to take us out. Yes. Take the kids out. And we got to stand in the gap for them. And I just thank God this morning. I continue to pray for him and thank God for how he's moved in my life. Yes. Thank God for what the miracle that he gave me. Yeah. And don't think the devil ain't fighting because he's still here. He still lives. He, he had a purpose to take me out. But I know, I know this morning God took me under. God took me over. He thought he had me, but I got away. I'm still here. I'm still here to tell the goodness. Got a well-made up mind, sure. Ain't nowhere to go. Ain't no use to looking for nowhere to go today. Amen. But 
right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. It's the only place I know you can go. Amen. To find a refuge this morning. So y'all continue to pray for me and my family. Praise God for all of you. Praise God. Come on, get Sister Jessica. Hang it up. Thank you. Hey, good job. Amen. Yeah. Jesus. 
Jesus. Yeah. I'm dead over a whole y'all. And he ain't never done anything for you. Just keep crying. Keep praying. And wait a little while. Hey, God, I'm over a whole y'all. My God is a good God. Come on, come on, come on, come on, y'all. Hey, you might as well shake that tired spirit off. Hallelujah, Jesus. I heard a man of God talking yesterday as I was watching this home going service. And he said, Pastor Blue told us, you can't ride on nobody else's noise. You better get your own. Hey, he said, it was feeling good here, sir. He said, they're good here, all these preachers up here, sir. I better cut that out. Because Pastor Blue told us, you can't ride on nobody else's noise. You better get your own. You better find your place of prayer. Hey, hallelujah. We used to walk up and down that street with that stuff all night. In the dark of the night, crying out for them children. Brother D. Witt told me about it. I learned to walk around in my house with my stuff all night. Crying out for my children. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hey, I don't know what you need to do. Hey, I'm telling you, he'll supply all your needs. According to his riches and glory. He'll rebuke the devourer. For our sake. He'll rebuke death. He'll rebuke the devourer. For our sake. He'll rebuke death. He put death to shame. We don't have to die to death no more. I don't feel no way tired. I don't feel tired. When I fall, I get back up. I said, I got to run on and see what the end going to be. Hallelujah, Jesus. We got to run on, church, and see what the end going to be. Glory to God. All our hope is in the Lord. So hope ye in the Lord. Put all your affections upon Jesus. Set all your affections on him. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because what man won't do, what he refused to do, Jesus said, I'll give you the very desires of your heart. And my desire is that my children be saved. My desire is that my family be saved. When I was out there doing everything I knew to do and then some, he still had mercy on me. He had mercy and grace. Because the effects with fervent prayer of the righteous avail it much. Don't stop praying. I don't care what you're doing. Don't stop praying. Don't stop. How the water got Ask Jesus to forgive you and keep get up. Don't get up with condemnation. When the devil said he ain't forgave, he said the blood covered that. Amen. The blood the covered of that Osha. The blood of Jesus covered that. Hallelujah. 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 The blood paid for that. Yeah. Hallelujah. When I couldn't move my legs, hey, the blood paid for that. When my mind was messed up, and I kept telling the devil I ain't going to lose my mind, I found out the blood paid for that. Glory to God. When my heart was so broken, I didn't know what to do. I want to get me to let go down out of the high out of your business. But God is a good God. The blood paid for that. If you learn how to apply the blood to your life, apply the blood to your situation, let go and let God have his way. Let go and let God have his way. Hey, you'll see the salvation of the Lord. You'll see the glory of God shining around upon every one of us, upon our children's children, to as many as are called. And everyone that come out of our lineage is called. I heard the preacher say yesterday, and I'm going to get out of the way. It's time to fight for your children. It's time to fight, 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 fight. And I thought about my son on my way to church. I said, Jesus, he would get down. It's time for me to get down in the spirit. It's time for Jesus to show the devil what we working with. Because you build me a holy house. You made me a warrior. There's a giant on the inside of me, and his name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, it's time. To kind of push out to separate myself. I've been around here playing and ticking and tacking, but it's time for me to do what I'm supposed to do. If we can get down in the flesh, I can get down in the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Are you gonna fight for your family this morning? Are you gonna get down with Jesus? Hallelujah. Give him a praise. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, get down with him. Thank God, do. Can't he work it out? Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. You know how to work it out. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. That man ain't pretty, but he know how to work it out. 
Oh, yes, he can. Come on, give Sister Deborah a hand.
Okay, we just go see what's going on. So we went to the emergency room. They run tests, tests, tests. Glory be to God. When I, when I first got there, hallelujah, they was like, they were like, uh, they put me out there and I seen, you know, when you go complaining about, and they, they check that blood pressure in, you complain about numbness and weakness on one side. Out of a while, the uh, soft wheelchair come out there. He must have went in. The nurse must have talked to somebody above him. They come out with a wheelchair, wheel me back there. And I just, uh, uh, dogs just come out of there, you know, they just come out of the woodworks when you, when they know you're in trouble, when you get there and they know your situation ain't bad, you just lay out there and suffer. But when they think you're in bad shape, hallelujah. When they think you're in bad shape, you just, it's like doctors and nurses just come from every which way. Somebody was putting an IV in, somebody was getting telemetry hooked up on my heart, somebody was putting a blood pressure cuff on, somebody was getting the, uh, well, they did that within three minutes, they had me ready, monitor my heart. My blood pressure, I said, whoa, I said, what's going on? So, uh, and it went from there, hallelujah. But glory be to God, and then and, and then it comes to the, the hospital, and we finally got a chance to go to a room. We didn't know yet if they were gonna keep me or not, but I, I think what they gave me, kind of like my, my, my heart didn't respond. It didn't kind of like do what they thought it was gonna do. It was, I was having a low pulse rate. I think that's why they kept me, kept using excuses all. They don't use excuses, we gonna keep you, we got to get the results back on MRI. We got to get the results back on uh, the EKG or ECHO and all that stuff. But I think it was they had that medicine they gave me. That's why they kept me over there. I didn't get out of there. I went in there Wednesday at, well, it turned, yeah, it turned Thursday morning, 1 o'clock, 1 a.m. And I didn't get out of there until Friday, 7, a little after 7. But I wasn't sick. I was just laying there. I could have been at work, but I uh, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, you know, I, I said, well, go ahead and let them run. I don't want to test them want to run. Glory be to God. Go pastor came in and he he came. He prayed with me. Well, he didn't pray with me. We talked on faith. Glory be to God. And then I went somewhere to take another test. And when I got prayed, brother Jeff was there. So I said, well, glory be to God. I, I, I don't know if pastor sent him or not. But anyway, glory be to God. That was there. And I just thank God for, you know, People that, that know God, hallelujah, yeah. just and still, just stir your faith up, be strength to you. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. And then later on, Brother Jeff came by. And I, I was coming back from the MRI I had. I couldn't go in it because I, I got that claustrophobia. I can't stand stuff like that. She put me up in there. She said, you'll be all right. I said, last time I tried to do this, I couldn't do it. I said, and I was young and then. She said, well, just let me know. Ain't no problem, she said. So she put me up in there. Glory be to God. I laid out for a few minutes. Hallelujah. No thing is very noisy. She said, how you, she said, she, she said, I'm going to put, they put your earmuffs on and ask you what kind of music do you want to hear. I say, well, I know you don't have gospel. She said, yeah, yeah, I got gospel. Yeah, I got gospel. I said, okay, let's try that. So she put me in there. She didn't never get a chance to turn it on. She said, okay, I'm going to go all the way back with you. And she said, she checked with me again. You okay? I said, no, nah, I can't help it. Let me, she said, okay. And I said, don't. Tell the equipment, it's stuff very expensive to say, I'll get you back out of there. Glory be to God. So I says, okay, okay. So they brought me back to the room, and by that time, Brother Jeff was in there. He had come and him and my wife was talking. And we I got to talk about that fear of going in that MRI. And I said, you know, I really need to take that MRI. And they was all, yeah, you need to doctors everything. You need to take that before you go so we can see what's going on in your, in your brain. Glory be to God. So I said, okay. So Brother Jeff, he said, we gonna, he just jumped up right here. We're going to rebuke that pain, that fear. If you need to take that test, well, we're going we gonna to rebuke that stuff. He and my wife, they got, we hold hands, and we, he started to plead the blood of Jesus against that fear. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I said, okay. He says, then we got finished praying. So I left, we got finished praying. I, I think it was, well, it was later on that night. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought they'd do a test that late. I think it was going on 7 o'clock. But Brother Jeff had left. Glory be to God. And then, and, they, uh, they come and get me and they take me back now, hallelujah. But first they came in and said, well, you should have told us that you had claustrophobia and we'd have gave you this, we'd have offered you this medicine anyway, some anxiety medicine. I, I also, that prayer helped me to take that because I was kind of skeptical about taking that medicine for, you know, for, for, for you know, something like for mental anyway. It, it helped a lot. So glory be to God with the prayer and the medicine. Hallelujah. I was able to go and get the MRI done. And it come back, it come back negative. So all the tips they did, glory be to God, everything come back negative. Hallelujah. So I just thank God. 
thank God for, for lifting up the standard. Thank God for keeping me, you know. We, we, we panic when we get in these situations, but but we forget to remember the scripts don't mix you no matter when your blood sugar act up, when your high blood pressure act up, when your children act up, I'm right down with you. And through every situation, we just let fear hit us and we just throw Jesus and all our belief and faith out the world and just take our money like a wild deer, but glory be to God. He's right there. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God for lifting up a standard. Hallelujah. I just thank God and it's just, you know, I just got there. I'm going to take better care of myself. I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do is what I'm supposed to do. Take care of my dad. And y'all, I just thank y'all for y'all prayer. Those of you that knew that I was in the hospital and those of you that prayed for me, I thank God for you. Now. And I ask you to continue to pray for me. Amen. And I pray for you. Praise God. Thank you. 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 Lifting up a step for him. Amen. Amen. I'm going to just thank God for all the testimonies this morning. Amen. We thank God for this Sunday. Amen. Amen. Which is our family and friends day. And thank God for those businesses that we have. Amen. Amen. Praise God with us on the day. Amen. Amen. Good to see you. Amen. Sister Michelle's brother. Thank you with us this morning. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. God is good, Amen. Thank God for the lady here that come in. We just gonna no more testimonies. We're gonna amen. Receive got any announcements today. Don't receive announcements. This time we're gonna come give us announcements. Come on, clap your hands as she comes. Amen. 